Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Actually, you're going to be seeing a lot of me in the next couple of weeks because I get to talk to you about King David, the, uh, the greatest king in Israel's history. And we're starting off in 1 Samuel 16, where uh, David is anointed. Uh, and, and, and this was a secret anointing as a king. See, what had happened was uh, Saul had been, it was king, and Samuel had anointed Saul as king, but then Saul disobeyed God multiple times, but he finally uh, kind of broke that whole, hey, I'm the, I'm the king, and, and God told Samuel, go to Bethlehem, to the house of Jesse, and uh, anoint the one I show you, one of his sons, to be king. And uh, Samuel was like, well, what if Saul hears about this? And God says, well, go and, and have a sacrifice and a feast and uh, invite Jesse to come to it. And that'll cover your tracks so the king doesn't try to kill you or wipe out Jesse's household because it's a, com it's a competition. So he goes there and he walks into Jesse's house and he sees the oldest boy, Eli uh, Eliab. And, and he is... A young man, he's strong, he's healthy, he's, you know, uh, attractive, all the things that he goes, oh, this must be the one. And God told him this, verse 7, he says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as a man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. So, you know, uh, Samuel is like, okay, and where's the next son? And Jesse brought in seven of his sons total, and every one of them uh, was rejected by God. This is not the one, this is not the one. And finally he says to Jesse, don't you have any other boys? And Jesse goes, well, yeah, the youngest, he's out taking care of the sheep because he's not important. He's the youngest, he, you know. And, and Samuel says, uh, bring him in. And so when, when Samuel saw him, God said, this is the one. And Samuel anointed David with oil secretly, just the family is all the one who saw it. And then God anointed David with the Holy Spirit at that point. This is my servant. This is the one I'm choosing to be the next king and to establish the line of kings that would lead all the way to the Messiah. So what do, what do we get from this story? I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing story. It's all kinds of intrigue and things like that. But what does it mean? Okay, go back to what God said to Samuel when he was trying to determine which son was a king. The Lord sees, not as man sees. Because men look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Take that to heart. Because God is not impressed with our resume. God is not impressed with our education. God is not impressed with our financial uh, stability or our financial wealth. Uh, God is not impressed at all with our personal appearance, our strength, or even our popularity. All the things that the world values mean nothing to God. You see, God sees the heart. And God chooses people because of that bias. That, that's the reason he looks at people. He sees the heart. He sees the intentions. He sees who you are on the inside. And, and by the way, I'm just grateful for that truth. Because all we have to be is available and willing, and God can use us as his servant. Uh, this really hit me. At, at the age of 17, I said, yes, God wants me in ministry, and I want to serve him. Uh, but I had a youth pastor at the time that wasn't interested in me and developing me as a leader because I wasn't a leader. Uh, far from it. I was a follower. And uh, his strategy, and he said this out loud, is we're going to reach the captain of the football team and we're going to reach the head cheerleader and their popular kids and other kids will come to our youth ministry because we reach the popular kids. Well, guess what? I wasn't on the football team. I definitely wasn't the cheerleader. Uh, the cheerleaders wouldn't even talk to me uh, because I was a nobody. Uh, but God doesn't see as man sees because man looks on outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And, uh, and I'm just telling you, if you have a heart for God and you're available to God, he will use you to make a difference. And that's the beginning of the story of David.